Wait one second, making sure I'm recording. I should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to Brothers and Arms. This is just right after the last episode. But hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. This is Brothers and Arms, the road to Hill Ferry. Oh yeah! You know what, I remember this bit of the game. Alright, I just had this out come into my head. Actually got him with that one. I need suppressing fire. Suppressing fire. <laughs> Oop, another enemy circling around behind. Hey, wait, what? I clicked that button and there was not too... Ah, maybe it was my imagination. Red, move now! Cover me! Him at the end of the game. Go over there. Red, go, go, go. I'm on it. Fire. Corian, let's get what we got. Holy moly. Could have easily bet that. Could have easily had victory. Corian, red, move now. But no. How did that go so wrong? How was just shoot me? Come on. How many magazines do I have to spend, huh? I'm just demonstrating to you how bad the gun spread is in this game. And how stupid that I'm able to get shot over that hedge. Even though I was behind the harder, tougher area where they couldn't get me. No, I don't need you over here. Get back over there, you stupid. 
took that soldier. Hell yeah, he, my own save, sometimes more than Jerry's. Because they won't listen to me. How did I get hurt there? Huh? How were you able to shoot over that rock? At that angle. When I can't even shoot over the rock. At that angle to shoot that tree. You see that? I can't shoot over the rock. But they're able to hit me for some reason. What angle did they shoot me from? Huh? What angle did they shoot me from? There was no angle. Red, follow Just follow me. Corian, stay with me. We'll all run together and kill all the Jerry's around. Why are you still here with me, soldier? You decide to walk around the corner. If there's a game that I would have to hack, it would probably be this. Just so I could destroy the cherries. Easier. And decrease the bullet speed. There's probably a modded version of this game somewhere out there that, you know. Decreases them, you know, bullet spread. Look, but when I shoot the Jerry's, it does not even hit one. This this entire episode's just got to be me you know, yelling, you know, why, why wouldn't it work properly? But it won't work properly because this game is from 2005. Tire mag. Now even one of the bullets spread actually hit the guy. I'm already on my last mag. I don't even get grenades no more, huh? They give us grenades for many episodes, but then they don't give us grenades now.
Uh, I'm just so exhausted right now. Had to deal with the problem before, and now I have to deal with. This is a this area. Isn't it? Seen some forces moving into position on the ridge there. This is definitely where the party is gonna happen. Welcome to the rock and the whole goddamn German army. And this should be the end of the game. Baker! You okay, Baker? Oh, I didn't have this the last time that I was here. Where leg it dies. That scene always used to get me. I did not know what I was doing. I have to go this way. It's not a ju it's a jerry tank! Go all the way back up here.
Americano, please! Save me! Yes! Show us the power of that new cannon you have! Oh, I'm on one HP. Stupid jelly! Didn't switch weapons either, I would have been dead. Get me on top of that tank. Now. Oh, two tanks. I totally forgot. Ah, I remember now. I remember this bit. I remember one of my tank drivers had died and I was wondering why the tank was still alive. So I just said enter. I somebody showed up. I can't find F Company. It's a mess out there. We got all your radio relays. Just couldn't find you guys. Hop on, Sergeant. Lead the way. Thank you, Soldier. Move! Fall in! I guess that one can fall. Go, go, go! Head over there! Charge! We gotta take 
gotta take out. Go. Send it back to Stone Age. I'm not doing much, but y'all, I'm doing something. Holy moly, you covered it in charcoal. something myself. Up that way. You... You need to go down this way. I need some armor here! Come on, you go down this way, we should be fine. But you! Charge it! Focus your fire! Roll, goddammit! That way. Set Come on. up there! Enemies just over there. Target over there! Fire! 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 That way! Just go Follow to the me. end of the road. Mary go round over here. I can see the smoke of the damage done. Well one's in front. Come on, get over there. Set up there. Suppress that tank. Solve that armor. up this way I can't can't keep this way uh, I still have memories of that one tank driver who had died and I was wondering why the tank was alive. I was going to cry because I could not figure out why. Back then. Face of fire in that armor. Move now. Heavy fire on that armor, Tom. Oh, 
Okay. Your enemy? It's like I'm telling, you know, I'm like a sibling or something. Put some fire on that armor. I've never had a unit that's went fully red like this. I don't think so. And I'm red at the same time. I always love the front of these tanks. I need some armor here. I need you over there. Move. Load on them! Take them out! Hit it hard! Move up fast! Pour out the fire! How did I get to be the one that's killed? Stay on me. Let's stick together. They just broke. The tanks just did not know what to do. Set up there. Head that way. Unload on them. I need heavy fire on that tank now. Go, soldiers. Both ways. The bullhorn technique invented by Zulus. I can't remember what the Zulu King was called. I'm distracting it. Tank, what are you doing? Move. Why don't you go move up there? Give me some armor over there. Go. Holy moly. Yes, it's gone. You know what? Move now! Come on, get over there! I sent both of the tanks down this way. Come on, Tanko. I am Tanko. Hey, 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 hey. Think you can run over me like that? I always loved the models of these tanks in this game. They're such great models. They rely so much on the player to help them. It's like I'm famous in toddlers. Holy moly! It's a transparent tank! It's like one of the limited edition consoles back in the day that were transparent of con console controllers. Me burying rolls. 
had this one for the Xbox original back in the day. Get up here. Best thing ever. Fall in. Pretty sure they're, they're letting us uh, leave them with breadcrumbs that we leave behind as well. So that's when we turn on, you know, follow us, that's why they're able to find us. Hit it with everything you've got! Take out that tank! Yeah, the enemy's hatch going down there as well. I need some armor here! That's why I call some sick looking tanks. Probably will always love the Sherman. There's just something about World War II vehicles uh, that seem appealing. You know what I mean? Maybe it's their bulkiness, but you don't get that from like modern vehicles. Uh. Like I don't look at one of the modern N wraps and think, yes. Nice. I think you're know, very clunky and ugly. But these are like smooth looking tanks. Follow me! Time to go save our fellow soldiers on the battlefield. On the battlefield. Let's go kill a bunch of Jerry. Jerry. Let's go kill a bunch of Jerry. 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 Get that tank out the road. I love how it's still movable even though it's, you know, totally destroyed. They're all scared when the tank rolls out. I've always wanted like a remote control tank, that's like a World War II Sherman. Just drive it around, I feel like it would be funny. Oh, did you? There's a video on uh, YouTube and it's this guy who made uh, A7Vs, the original German tank that never really seen combat. I don't think it did see combat yet. I don't think so. Maybe once. I think maybe once, yeah. I think maybe one of them seen combat. But uh, he built little tiny ones and he fired rockets each other. Oh, it was so cool. But they destroyed the armor once, you know, taking enough rocket shots. It would just blow apart due to the type of material that they used. Go, oh, soldiers, go. I always loved the tanks in this game and I almost got shot there. I say use them as mobile cover. Come on, get over there. Come on, get over there. Move now. I need you over there. Charge them. They're gone. Move. I guess so. <sighs> kind of awesome just seeing them poking out. Roll, Make them drive over the field. saying is I wasn't scared. Even when those 20 or so crowds came charging across the field, 
I wasn't really counting. Well, except the number of those bastards I dropped. Lucky for them, you can't count very high. Yeah, I was pretty fucking scared. Hell of a thing we did today. Gotta wonder what waits for men like us when we get back home. And then that should be victory in Carrotton. There's rumors coming down the pipe that the squad's gonna be split up after we leave Carrington. Hell, Corian even thinks we're going home. Wrong again, Sam. A few other guys have been talking about getting a farm or some land, some peace and quiet. God, not me. Last thing I want to do is live out my days alone after the shit I've seen. Yeah. Well, it's not time for goodbyes yet. Not by a long shot. That's very true. You have two more games to go, Baker. <laughs> so. Why in the hell did you bring back that busted piece of crap? Not sure. Seemed like the right thing to do. What are you gonna do? Bury it? I might. Knock off the chatter and fall in! Now I'm not one for speeches, so I'll make this short. First, there's a Colonel Marshall here to interview some of you for General Eisenhower. Don't screw that up! Second, I've been in the Army a long time and in some pretty good units. But in all that time, well, I just want to say you guys did good. We lost some good men. But at the same time, we sent a message to Hitler and his boys that we're coming for him, that his days are numbered. Now I've got a promotion to make. Sergeant Hartsock, front and center. Second squad needs a new leader, and the responsibility is now yours. So on these stripes, or I'll cite you for being out of uniform. Sergeant Baker! You know this isn't over, right? Hell of a thing we've been through these last eight days. Welcome to the end of the beginning. Grab your gear, troopers! We've still got a war to fight! Third squad, you heard the man. Move out! And that is end. I'm glad that's the end. I don't think I could... Oh no, beyond the hill. It's not the end. Why is it not the end? Why? Why do this to me game? Oh, it is the end. England, Normandy, France, U Utah. Ah. Uh. Got to say, I quite enjoyed this game. I'm glad it's the end because by the end of it, I felt so exhausted. Huh. Like it really puts exhaustion on because you know, what do you call it? Certain bugs happen, certain you know deaths, gun spread is not very good in this game. There's probably a lot of improvements that they did in uh, Errand and Blood. That's the next one that we're gonna be playing. But first. We're going to have to play some Bioshock. I'm still planning on what Bioshock. I want to play either Bioshock 2 or Bioshock Infinite. So it's either between those two games that we play next and then we'll come back and play some more Brothers in Arms. I'm looking forward to it. I've been pre-recording so many Brothers in Arms episodes that it's taken you know, quite an exhaustion <laughs> on me. Uh, I always remember this end and a little strip. When you loaded up on the game, you would get to see like a loading bit of you know what chapter you're doing, and you know some of it was quite sad, right? This game, 
A lot of old memories I remember from it. It was probably one of my favourite childhood games. With Brothers in Arms. You know, Brothers in Arms, Errand and Blood, I didn't I don't really remember it too well. But I do remember I used to play Medal of Honor as well. That's what I was going to say instead of Brothers in Arms, but I'm trying to just throw it off like, you know, I did I did mean to say that, yes. <laughs> Uh, but Brothers in Arms, Medal of Honor, I've been wanting to do Medal of Honor for the last year or two, but I've been unable to do or find a PC version of the game. I was going to go for a, uh, what do you call it, uh, what, what's it called, uh, a ROM hack of the game, and hopefully play that, but I want to play uh, Rise and Sun. Bust. The Rising Sun is probably one of my favourite ones. The music's really blasting in my ear right now. The Rising Sun's probably one of my favourite, uh, brothers. Well, not brothers. The Medal of Honor Rising Sun is probably one of my favourite brothers. Well, Medal of Honor. Games. Finally got to say the way that I wanted it. <laughs> and then, you know, the Medal of Honor, uh, Frontlines. That was a great game. I remember it so fondly because I remember walking down with the... There's a certain cheat that you can put on, and there's like random stuff in the enemy's head. It's like a windmill or something. Uh. But I was walking down this uh, train cart, you know, progressing the mission, and then all of a sudden, these big heads jump out of the train cart. They're, they're German soldiers. And they scared the life out of me that I had to pause the game and just. Oh, uh, I remember that so fondly. And then there's Medal of Honor, uh, European Assault. I might play that. The thing is, I've been trying to replay it a bunch of times, but then whenever I replay it, I always fail at the last mission. I just can't beat the last mission. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Have a nice day, safe, hope to see you Maybe some more, just need to vitamins, very important. And bye-bye, see you next time, have a nice day, see you, bye-bye.